Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Glazebrook. We are still right at the moment on field 33. If you guys checked our previous episode, you know that we started harvesting field 33. We're harvesting canola out of this field. And we need to unload right now. And we also have a contract on field 31, which is right close by it's just right here across from our field we're at the moment on a Massey Ferguson the Massey Ferguson is on a course play and he's working harvesting corn on that field we are gonna need to unload that combine and we're gonna have to drive over to the cell point because that tractor that we are using it's a borrowed tractor and the tractor that we're using is almost full the trailer is almost full and i had to create a new gps and it's way off by the looks of it i did save the course but for some reason it didn't save it i had to create a new one and this one's gonna be off by the looks of it so maybe i can just modify it going right a little bit but i think i'm just gonna give up because it will go a little bit over to the left we're just gonna use it like it is at the moment we're gonna try to fix it later on we're gonna leave some spots where we don't harvest our canola but that's fine we're gonna pick everything up when we're done with the field and looks like our mass is full at 94 percent so let me just stop this combine right here jump into the tractor that we're using and it's absolutely full so we need to find a cell point that we need to go to and it seems that it's right next to where we had to sell our sugar beet when we had the other contract on field 12 so let us just drive over Looks like this tractor is struggling a little bit. Driving kind of like uphill. It's not even uphill, just a little bit of slope. But we should be fine right now. We're on the main road. So let us drive over at the cell point. We'll see how much we are going to be able to sell looks like we are at 83 percent finished with the contract it's not going to be much corn left on that field we're probably going to be finishing the contract while we unload but we will still harvest all the corn that's going to be left on that field it's better if we just finish because everything that we harvest after we finish the contract is going to be ours it's going to be left for us yeah and as you guys can see this tractor is kind of struggling a little bit and this is not a proper way to go over at that cell point but i'm not going to go all the way there's a long way if we are going to go the proper way which will take us right here on that road on the right but let us cut to these bushes do a little bit of property damage right here and i do believe that this on the left side it's the cell point so let's try to get here and we'll see how much we finish out of the contract or if we manage to finish the contract completely just have to wait and see 
Now, Mercy Ferguson is ready to be unloaded. Well, it's not ours because it's just borrowed for the job. And we finished the contract and we made 845. So that means that everything we're gonna do, everything we're gonna harvest will be ours and we're gonna make some more money, which is good. Oops, almost crashed into that car. Like I was saying, everything, every money that we're gonna get extra, it's good money because we do have a loan. We took a loan when we bought our combine, the John Deere, and we're not gonna finish the contract, obviously at the moment. I wanted to check on the loan that we have. We have $100,000 on the loan. So we're gonna have to pay that back soon enough. So we're gonna keep on harvesting that corn. We're gonna sell the corn and we'll check for a better price. We'll whatever sell point is gonna give us the best price. And while we harvest our canola, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna see which sell point is gonna give us the best price and we're gonna go to that sell point, sell our canola, there's still a lot on field 33 to harvest, so we're looking good, I do believe we unloaded twice, so in our own trailer we should have $20,000, and it's not all that left on this field, obviously I was kind of hoping there's going to be more, but it is what it is. We still have we're gonna make probably like eight, nine thousand liters of corn. And then we finish unloading everything from the combine. And since we're on the subject, let's check the price of corn. Grain sell point, it looks like we're gonna be heading over to the same spot and we are at 8,900 almost 9,000 liters let's see how much money we're gonna make out of this I'm just curious and of course after the time there's a few spots right there that the combine missed and that's fine I don't think that it would have been that much maybe would have taken us to 10,000 liters but considering the time and the fuel that we are going to spend we're looking good at what we have at the moment just a little bit shorter or short of 9000 liters and we're gonna find out in just a quick moment how much we are gonna make as we are almost at the same point let's cut to the same bushes again we don't move the cell point so let's see how much we are gonna make We're at 45,000 right now, 7,500, okay, not bad, and if we finish the contract, that's another 4,000, so we're looking good, we are looking really good, we are from 45, we're at 57,000 at the moment, and we'll see how much we're gonna be at when we finish harvesting our canola. And as much as I try to set up GPS, it's not gonna go on the same 
course that it went last time so that's fine we're gonna pick up all that stuff later on like i said but we're looking good for now and right now the best time for the time lapse so i'll just stop talking and i'll let you guys watch me driving and trying to hurry up and finish this film
you guys can see we are done we finished harvesting canola or field 33 field 33 is the bigger field that we have it's not really big but it's the biggest that we have it's almost three hectares we have field 18 as well that's one and a half hectare and since we are in our combine let's just make sure that we head on over and we take it to field 19 we do have oat on that field so we're gonna be using the same header well at the moment it's the only one we have we will need to buy a corn header of course but we're not gonna do it just yet for our next crops I'm thinking of having corn on one field and sunflower on the other but until we do that we're gonna have to kind of worry about harvesting our other field and then spray some lime on our fields and obviously after that we're gonna have to start planting let me just try with the outside view because I'm trying to make sure I don't lose the header on, on the way to the field. Kind of like have to squeeze our own, squeeze our way out of this life fences. We do call them live fences, I have no idea if we call them like the same. Obviously we're calling them live fences because they're alive, they're made out of bushes and this is the way that we need to go. Let's cut that guy off. And we are almost at uh, the field, which is great. And of course, we are at the field, but we are at uh, the wrong field. Obviously, I'm such a lunatic. I forgot where I needed to turn right. And I'm just driving around on some other people's fields. Because I can't be paying attention. So, sorry about that, this is the way that we need to take so we can reach our field, also going to some other people's field, which is absolutely crazy, but it's just something we have to do. So I'll just drop our header right there, and for now, let's just Hold this header up. Yep, looks like our trailer is not gonna be on the way. And we can cut through here. But first, what I need to do is obviously go into this tractor. And let's see. Obviously, uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna go on and try to sell this canola in just 5,000 liters it's not going to bring us all that much so I'll just leave the field I'm not going to be worried about it I'll just leave it here and let's just use our JCB tractor and we'll hook up this trailer that will save us a trip with the other tractor and of course what I've noticed is that that tractor is also not powerful enough for that trailer hopefully our GCB is going to be powerful enough for this trailer with the other tractor and I was pulling the full trailer it was kind of struggling Hopefully we're not going to be running into the same issue with this tractor, check of the traffic. Obviously as you guys know already, or don't you can see right now, 
This is one of the fastest tractors. It's the fastest one we have, at least. Its top speed is 73 kilometers per hour, which is absolutely great. So we're gonna have this tractor with this trailer right here, uh, this field, and we can just start harvesting. We'll finish harvesting our oat on our field 18. So let's just get on that. We're gonna have straw, so we're gonna have some straw bales when we finish, which is great. And bit by bit, step by step, we're gonna have all the ingredients for us to buy some cows. Obviously, we already have some made some silage bales after we finish with this field we're gonna move over and mow the grass on field one and we're gonna turn over that grass and we're gonna make ourselves some hail bales which is great so after that pretty much we have everything we'll have hay we'll have silage and we'll, we'll have straw so that's gonna be the main ingredients for the TMR. Like I said, that's gonna be awesome. But for now, we'll just finish this field and I'll see you guys when we are done. Alright, and as you guys can see, we just finished the field. It did took a while, but obviously not that long. We unloaded once, so we're looking at 10,000 liters for the first time and 7,600 liters right now. What we have left, at least that's not if my calculations are right, are correct. We'll see right now in a moment how much we're gonna have, and let's check the price of oat. It looks like it's going down but we are close to the sell point so if we hurry we're gonna still have a decent price and yep it looks like i, right, I was right we're looking at 1706 17603 liters that's pretty decent from the field that we just harvested it's a pretty small field so we could have not expected all that much from that field obviously but let us take the, the sell point we're gonna see how much money we make those guys are standing there chatting with each other and I do believe that this is the road that we need to take. And let us see which one is going to be the cell point. I do believe we've been here once. And now on the minimap there's just one cell point and we are at that right here, right now. So let's see how much money we're going to make and we can easily pay that loan that we have we're gonna make much more money in the future obviously and we just made twenty two thousand one hundred and fifty four dollars out of that small field which is not bad at all but just out of curiosity let's see what precision farming says it looks like we are looking at a profit of 17,800 on field 18 and 45,278 dollars from field 33. So that's good money and since we are on talking about the loan, let's pay that off. And we're still looking at 27,000 which is good. 
we should still be having i believe some crops yeah we do we can sell that and we can sell that we can easily can afford to buy our new field which i'm thinking of buying one field close to home maybe somewhere between field 18 that we have and our farm that way when we go and cut through some other field we can cut through some we can cut through our own and reach our other field but for now guys we're just gonna take all the equipment back at the farm and this is gonna be it for this episode thank you so much for watching and if you like the video i hope you do like the video if you do please consider subscribing it will help the channel a lot and that being said i will see you guys on our next episode